hello everyone welcome again so now we will continue after doing pre-processing of Landsat 8 data we will move ahead to computing NDVI normalized difference vegetation index from those data sets here you can see after computing the band combination for 24th May 2019 I have also pre-processed uh, Landsat from 27th July and 28th August which you have to do yourself now let us compute in DBI for this single date 28th May and for the rest of the two dates you can uh, do it yourself to compute NDVI or any other vegetation index you can search in the literature for their equation and do it in raster calculator do using uh, like any other calculator some of you may be experienced with this or there is a ready uh, to compute module which is called i.vi which is called i.vegetation index which is coming from grass and if you open i.vi you can see that in the type of vegetation index there is a set of vegetation indices supported by this module to know what are those vegetation indices grass gs has a very good documentation so the best way is to get a browser search for i.vi grass gis that will take you to the usually the first link usually uh, take you to the manual page of that particular module so you can see what it, this module does uh, which are the vegetation indices supported and what are they and things like that and some uh, explanation so it's always good to refer to this documentation and this kind of documentations are available only with the grass gis module so whenever you use some modules from grass gis uh, i suggest you to go uh, to a browser and check for it manual as well so now let's uh, try vegetation index here a vegetation index ndvi here now we know that ndvi is uh, the equation of the ndvi is uh, nar minus red divided by nar plus red for in the case of landsat 8 it should be band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 so the inputs are only two bands band 5 and band 4 right so i will go to the folder landsat data the corrected and clipped one i will select the red band which is band number 4 so because it is asking for red channel uh, surface reflectance band in the next uh, input we need to give is NAR. So here name of N input NAR map. So again, you can go to the same folder and select band five. So just make sure that both of them are from the same dates. The rest of the inputs are not relevant for NDVI because NDVI only requires band five and band four. So you can go down and give the output file name, which is under vegetation index. So save to file. I'm going to save it in this folder. I will call it NDVI underscore 24th May 2019. I don't want it as a virtual raster. Virtual raster is only useful when we have a combination of bands, but this is one single band. So I will use the default, which is dot if. So once you have changed to dot VRT for the virtual raster, you always have to select it back and save. Uh, and run the module should be quick and when you run grass if you see any such warnings usually they are harmless you can continue and also any error which says set color table that is also harmless it is regarding the colors so it's not affecting any processing you can continue as long as it says the algorithm i.vi finished or algorithm any module finished that means it successfully finished the module. Now here you can see that uh, the NDVA for this particular date is uh, computed already. You can go to properties, um, give a nice color. 
I will give yeah some blue to green maybe like this yeah so here you can see the high vegetation areas uh, more or less vegetated and no vegetation at all in the sand and urmia lake part so that is your ndvi now you can go ahead and compute it for other two dates as well now um, the next step is to compute the area statistics for the land cover map which i have already provided to you so if you check the folder which i have provided you can see inside this folder there is a t file which is called land cover underscore 2019 open that and you can already see that it has a color scheme because i have also provided to you the qml file which shows the color scheme which you can see here so these are the classes which we which we have in this particular land cover map and this is from a global data set at 250 meters so let's see how much area each land cover uh, has in this particular study area so for that we have another grass module which is called r dot report you open r dot report uh, select the land cover map the units which we need is square kilometers so you can select k here if you want to know what are these options please go to the manual as i already showed earlier and let us select the scientific format please do not report no data cells that's it then give a output file name so this is going to be a text file so land our area stat and run yeah that's also done now if you go to the folder xs1 land cover area stat dot text you open it in notepad plus plus if you don't have notepad plus plus please install that one it's much more convenient than a simple notepad so here you go you have the uh, land cover type ids and how much area each land cover type represent in that particular study area and if you want to know what each id represent you can either refer to the labels here the legend here or i have also provided to you a text file uh, which says id and the land cover type so that's it for this video Thank you.